Good evening. My name is CJ Kirst with Tahoe Consulting, 5730 East Otero Avenue, Suite 200, Centennial, Colorado. I'm here tonight representing the applicant, Rocky Mountain Hardwood Processing. Rocky Mountain Hardwood Processing is a small company. The company services tree removals with a zero waste philosophy. The goal of buying and developing this property is to obtain more space and allow the company to grow. Both owners have been in the tree removal and reuse business for a number of years, but have simply outgrown their current surroundings. Their plans on site are to cut large logs into slabs, mill down branches into mulch, as well as using this material to produce live edge boards. In addition, they plan to grow and propagate trees to sell to the customers that they completed tree removals for. Initially, they would like to build a shop and nursery. This customized zoning allows for a variety of land uses that will not burden or harm the wildlife or agricultural residential existence. The protection of the existing ditches and the wildlife movement likely could not be maintained if straight commercial or industrial zoning was being proposed. The easterly planning area is proposed to have the hard improvements for business operation, whereas the western planning areas, PA2 and PA3, are proposed to maintain most of the existing site features while having some softer improvements to support PA1. The frontage along Rob Street will be improved with curb, gutter, and sidewalk to match the existing portions to the south. In addition, the area behind the sidewalk will be landscaped. These improvements will complement the street corridor similar to the improvements across the street east side of Rob Street, all providing a uniform and updated character. The PCD zoning is a complementary zone district that transitions the proposed permitted uses and land use preservation to work with the surrounding zoning. The outdoor storage area proposed can be specifically designated with the PCD and the specific commercial uses can be prescribed closer to Rob Street in a manner that benefits the agricultural residential to the north, something the straight zoning would not be able to do. It is expected that most of the traffic for the property will be coming and going to the west from and towards the frontage road to get out toward road. Daily trips are minimal since retail is not expected and therefore Rob Street does not require any improvements outside of curb, gutter, and sidewalk along the property's frontage. The proposed development will not have a high demand for water or wastewater services, however both will be provided. Due to the development controls established through this PCD, the site will not have a high impervious rate. Our storm flows will be released at historic rates into the existing storm sewer in Rob Street. We believe that we are meeting the goals of the Northwest Subarea Plan by way of diversifying and creating new employment, maintaining the diversified use of the land, as well as creating uses that will allow for a sustainable and resilient tax base. The proposed uses with this rezoning request will allow the applicant to grow their business and offer a diversified opportunity for employment. Their zero waste business ideology not only helps the environment, but also creates employment opportunities that fulfill this demand. The property has long since been an attractive site for the development interest, but given the wildlife corridor and irrigation ditches, existing development it has not moved forward. However, the applicant's proposal for the property allows both to remain as is while creating business uses one that will continue to prosper with perpetual need for planting new trees, shrubs, and pruning, trimming existing species. As Stephanie mentioned, we did host a community meeting in, in July this past year. No one attended. We received some questions from the property owner to the north at the Planning Commission. He asked questions about the plans to grade the property, how we plan to cross the Swadley Ditch, and how the city's communication for the project is set up. Since the Planning Commission, we have reached out in person and over the phone with the neighbor, but have not been successful connecting with them. In summary, we believe that this proposal creates a complementary land use opportunity for the property that preserves open space and wildlife movement, as well as creates commercial and retail opportunity that allows these characteristics to be maintained. Thank you for your time. We are available to answer any questions you may have.